Um, good afternoon, everybody. I know it's very, very close to lunch. I'm not sure about you, but I am actually quite hungry. So I will try to keep this as short as possible. So um, really, I would first like to start off by thanking Professor David Lee, I think Nelson, the Bay Area Tech Singaporeans, as well as you know the staff of SMU for involving us at OSU in this first SKBI seminar of the year. I would also like to thank the panelists for their time, for their very open and insightful sharing. I believe it has given us a lot of food for thought, which is always a great way to start a new year. So um, a very quick introduction about the Overseas Singaporean Unit. We were set up in 2006, and we are under the National Population and Talent Division of the Prime Minister's Office. It is a mouthful. Um, and our main aim is to coordinate efforts to engage our overseas Singaporeans. And one of the key things that we do is to facilitate platforms, platforms to help people come together, to help communities form. And I think as we saw in Chat Ming's talk, communities, that is where it happens. Um, when people come together as communities, that is where you know, the magic happens. So my colleagues and I at the Overseas Singaporean Unit have been connecting with our US-based tech professionals since 2011. And we've been inspired by what our fellow Singaporeans are doing out there, many of them trailblazing pathways at our major tech giants like Google, Microsoft, LinkedIn, or with startups that use technology in very innovative ways like Coursera, or just training and nurturing the next generation of industry leaders like what Nelson is doing. And in their own ways, they are our ambassadors in the global tech world. With globalization, we've seen a steady increase in the number of overseas Singaporeans living, studying, working in many places around the world. And we know that our Singaporeans are in very high demand because of our top-notch education and our strong work ethic. We are also very, we are highly mobile because of our shared values of multiculturalism and multiracialism that have facilitated our ability to adapt and to work in many different environments. And today we have over 212,000 overseas Singaporeans in places like Shanghai, San Francisco, London, to some of more exotic locations like Uganda and Rwanda. But as our Singaporeans venture abroad, we're actually highly encouraged by their strong desire to stay connected and to contribute back to developments at home. Um, last year, we saw many examples of this during the Golden Jubilee celebration. We saw many overseas Singaporeans coming together to celebrate our identity and heritage, as well as to give back to the Singaporean community through charitable contributions. And today's event, I think, is another, is another excellent example of how our Singaporeans, no matter where they are, can stay connected to each other share ideas, share views, experiences on issues that matter to us as a nation. Um, I'd like to say that really today's event is a very timely one. There has been much discussion lately on charting Singapore's direction in the next 50 years. We know that as our economy and society matures, the challenges that we face are going to be more complex and the solutions less straightforward. Platforms like this really offer us the valuable opportunity to come together. Um, and again, as Chad Ming said, it's about individuals coming together as communities. Because as communities, there is much that we can learn from each other. There's much that we can share. And through the communities, it's where connections are forged and where innovative solutions can actually arise. So in closing, really once again, thank SMU, especially Professor Lee and that for coming up with this valuable initiative. And we hope that today's event will be a precursor to many more collaborations between our overseas Singaporean tech professionals and the community here. And finally, I would just like to encourage all of us who have benefited from the views and the ideas that are shared today to distill these ideas and to think about what really what Chapman has, the challenge that he's um, posed to us, really how can we play a part to come up with solutions and to tackle the challenges that we face ahead in Singapore and in the world. Um, Chad Ming's talk has shown us that as individuals and as a community, I think we really can make a difference. Um, and I'd like to close this with a quote for all of us to think about. And it is from Margaret Mead, who is an American cultural anthropologist and activist. And she said that, never doubt 
that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. And indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, so it's lunch time. So lunch is served out there. But before you go, please put your hands together to thank our panel for today's very exciting discussion. Michael, Eddie, and Michael. Thank you very much for coming. See you again.